Ooh, man, he looks scary. What is going on, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. We're here to talk about Morbius, the new Spider-Man universe-related movie that's coming out. Um, this is more connected to Venom and another Spider-Man universe, I would say. We're going to kind of talk about what we've heard so far, what we've seen and 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 just our predictions right because morbius is now set to come out in january 28th 2022 it was supposed to come out definitely way sooner than that and if you guys don't know who uh, morbius is he's a villain from the spider-man series he's being billed as an anti-hero here kind of like venom is in his own movies with tom hardy it's going to be played by um jared leto and it's definitely tied into the Spider-Man universe. 100% tied in. They're associated. They're related. They've already confirmed that. So let's talk about some of the things that we have to look forward to with this movie. All right. So this is something that everyone has pretty much pointed out online. And it was brought to my attention recently that this Oscorp building is from the amazing Spider-Man universe. I did not realize this Easter egg. Till I saw the screenshot and I said, shit, that is definitely not from the Tom Holland Spider-Man universe. Why? If you guys didn't watch the new movie, it's okay. I get it. But they did mention and made it very loud and clear that there's no Norman Osborn, no Harry Osborn, no Oscorp. Yet Morbius is showing an Oscar building in the trailer and they also tell you that this movie is brought to you by the studio that worked in Venom and Spider-Man like I you know uh, mentioned earlier they reference it in the trailer so there's definitely a connection to the Spider-Man universe but we're not sure which one just yet because remember the whole multiverse is going on uh, and 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 we we saw a lot of things in that new Spider-Man movie that that might have changed the future of even that world. So we don't know if this is a hundred percent true that this is the Amazing Spider-Man universe. We'll see. Um, I'm excited to check it out. Okay, to see what what ends up happening, but I'm not going to put too much stock into that. So let's just get that out the way. And here we go again with the same shot that we got in the other trailer. I will tell you this, guys. Morbius looks fantastic. He looks just like the comics and the animated series. Like, they, they did an outstanding job. This movie deserves to be successful. Uh, just based on the look and the style that they're going for, it seems raw, it seems authentic, and it seems like a true horror-type film, right? Like, with the whole vampire stuff, it would have been great to have seen Morbius, Blade... And, and, and Daredevil and Spider-Man and all these people meet up. That, that would just be so epic. But we're not we're more than likely not going to get that. But it would be amazing to see something like that. Because I remember as a kid seeing these characters in the Spider-Man animated series. And how fascinated I was by it. So again, I got to give props to Sony. The art direction for Morbius here is just outstanding. This is what scares me. It's coming out in January because obviously uh, May we get the Doctor Strange movie. And even though that, even though this is not a direct tie-in into the MCU or anything like that, it's more the Spider-Man stuff. They still don't want this movie to keep, uh, you know, they don't want to keep pushing it back. They don't want to keep get, prolonging this and 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 um, falling behind, right? Because we just got Venom. Morbius was supposed to come out around the same time, and it is, and and then we got Doctor Strange, and they're trying they're trying to slip into that slot, and and basically finally release the movie. My whole fear is that January is a month where we always get milk duds in theaters. That's like my little go to phrase. Um, in January, we usually get like a Liam Neeson cheesy type of flick. That's the way I see January. January is a month where um that style of film is what's released we don't really get a, a, a an epic uh movie like this right for the most part now you guys may be able to google and look up you know facts and information and you'll 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 find maybe there was a hit here or there but i just don't think that there's 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 a lot of faith um 
with this movie like i don't know i don't i don't know why january was the go-to month it's not coming out in, in in the summertime for the blockbuster release it's not coming out you know in april or even even in may around dr strange time like it's it's coming out right after spider-man with the hype and i think that's why they're ca- they're trying to capitalize on that but i don't know if that's the smartest thing just because of how infamous uh, january is for the box office especially with the pandemic still going on i don't i don't know if there's going to be a, a a a large crowd running out of their way to go see this movie that's just me I, and I, and i ultimately wanted to make this video to bring these topics up and talk about it with you guys so you guys could you know basically tell me i'm wrong or i'm right or whatever you guys Go back and forth in the comment section and let me know, hey, Lex, you know, uh, January got this movie or, hey, Lex, I think Morbius releasing at, at this time is great. Like, I, I want to see what everyone thinks because I'm seeing all these red flags between being pushed back and, and, and stuff going on behind the scenes. And then now January and all this, like, is it, bec- is it truly because of the pandemic or are they having issues with the movie? I, I just really, I haven't looked deep into it. I don't want to get the movie spoiled either. You know, I'm not a spoiler guy. I'm not a, I'm not that type of rumors type of guy. So that's just a thought there. Here we got another shot referencing the spider un- the spider man. I was, was going to say the spider universe, the Spider-Man universe, the daily bugle. So, uh, oh, and on the top right, black cat, friend or foy, you know, like uh, rhino on the loose which rhino is from the amazing spider-man so this is another reference to the amazing spider-man you know what i mean but then i remember seeing the michael keaton which is from the tom holland uh universe so like that's why i'm a little confused i do like that they added tyrese gibson to this uh, movie i like him as an actor i think he's cool and he's always a nice role player to have in in the movie so i just wanted to toss in that random piece of information i like tyrese and i remember seeing the the original trailer and they have spider-man there that's not the tom holland spider-man like that drawing right there it looks more like the 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 toby spider-man suit and and kind of a a bit of of the amazing spider-man suit. so this looks maybe like a, a cross between both of them so it might be from the video game like somebody just drew it on the wall and they wanted a reference spider-man but honestly I, if if I'm willing to bet on this, I'd say this looks a lot like the to- the Toby suit. I don't know why, but that's the feeling I get from it. And this is where things get confusing. Michael Keaton coming out as Vulture, you know what I mean? And I'm just like, what the hell is going on? So like, it's like we, we're flip flopping back and forth between these different universes. We're we're pushing the movie back, and I'm just like, what the hell is gonna happen? so uh, that that's the motive of this video what what's going on with morbius are you guys hyped for it i I definitely am i i i gotta say i'm a morbius fan i remember again seeing him as a kid being afraid and also enjoying the character because morbius doesn't want to be a villain and that's the beauty of it you know spider-man has all these awesome villains that that they they're, they're not real bad guys ultimately they're not real bad guys so I, I am truly going to enjoy this one. And I do like Jared Leto. I think Jared Leto is a good actor for sure. What a dope shot. This is a real dope shot. So I, I'm just looking through the trailer and, and I'm, I'm reading information on it. I'm just like, man, you know what, bro? Like, I can't believe that I'm more hyped to see this movie. And I'm actually going to go see this in theaters more than likely. Um, it's just crazy to me because yes i love morbius but i also love venom and i didn't even go watch venom too like i was just waiting for the physical media release for venom to watch that one and i did see the first venom in theaters my problem is is i was just super super disappointed because i put so much stock into venom and i haven't really wanted to put too much stock into this one and and what i mean by that is that i just don't want to overhype myself and and have this unrealistic expectation and then go in and just fully get disappointed i truly want to love this movie because I, I do like the, the surrounding cast, Jared Leto, the story they're going with, the anti-hero stuff, the darkness that they're giving it. I, I'm, I'm really digging it. That's, that's basically 
um, why I'm, I'm kind of nervous, right? I'm kind of nervous. That's that's the, the real emotion that I feel. I'm a little nervous for it. I, I'm thinking this is going to more than likely be one of those movies that it's not going to do too much money. It may not fully bomb, but I don't think it's going to make too much money. I don't think it's going to be a massive hit. I hope I'm wrong, though. Guys, I hope I'm wrong. I hope I get to do a, a, a review for it when it drops. And, and, and I say, guys, remember that one video I did? um you know during the holidays well guess what i was wrong the movie was a massive hit and a, and, and super successful but i'm looking at the trend here uh with the whole pandemic stuff people only went out of their way to truly see spider-man and, and a handful of other movies at least in the u.s um if you want to if, 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 if you want to talk about like internationally yeah all right international is we don't know what's going to happen it's kind of unpredictable but as far as the u.s goes i don't know if this is going to make more than like i don't even know what to predict honestly because it's just the pandemic has been so unpredictable and so crazy the only thing that that we knew that was going to blow up during the pandemic was spider-man and it did it actually blew up even harder than everyone could have ever thought it, it was predicted to go like 130 million i ended up going to like 250 something so it's just crazy the impact that spider-man had and i'm wondering if spider-man is truly going to push people to go see morbius day one or at least that opening weekend that that's something that that i'm intrigued by so I, f I feel like I'm all over the place with this little analysis that I'm that I'm drawing up here. I, I've talked about it off stream and, and on stream. I've talked about it now in this video with my boys. And we're just hopeful that it does well and that the movie's actually good. I'm looking forward to it. No doubt about it. No doubt about it. I'm looking forward to it. Obviously, otherwise I wouldn't sit here and talk to you guys about it for over 10 minutes and kind of hype it up and, 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 and reach uh for for a discussion with you guys so i'll see you on the next one man uh i hope you guys enjoyed this little movie talk video that we did here uh my prediction is that um it's gonna open between 50 million to 100 million dollars domestically 50 to 100 within that range if it does 50 i think that's something to be proud of um because another movie that sony's doing is uh, uncharted which does have uh tom holland and I think that's going to bomb as well. Video game movies usually do pretty bad. I don't know if that's going to change the trend, though. It looks good, though. It looks good. Uncharted looks really good with Mark Wahlberg, Tom Holland. That's a good duel. And then you have Antonio Banderas as the bad guy. I, I think that's awesome. So we'll see how Uncharted does. We'll talk about that in another video. But, guys, subscribe if you haven't already. Drop a like for, uh, for this video. Let's get it recommended. Let's continue the conversation of Marvel and all the movies that are coming out in 2022. There's plenty of them. And we're going to be reacting to each and every one of them and dropping reviews for them as well. So I'll see you all real soon. Thank you uh, for tuning in. And, I'll, and yeah, I'm out of here. Peace.